I am pleased to have this opportunity to speak directly with Prime Minister Nakasone on the bilateral and international issues. It was 120 years ago since Commodore Perry first arrived on the shores of Japan. Commodore Perry sent a message explaining his purpose to be a mutual interchange of those acts of kindness and goodwill which will serve to cement the friendship happily commenced and to endure, I trust, for many years. Mr. Prime Minister, in coming to our shores, we welcome you in that spirit. Let us, too, cement the friendship happily commenced so that it will endure for many years. My Minister Nakasone, Mrs. Nakasone, we, we most sincerely welcome you. Thank you very much. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very much for your warm words of welcome. It gives me great pleasure to make an official visit to the United States at your invitation and to have this opportunity together with my family to meet again with you and Mrs. Reagan. Since I assume the office of the Prime Minister of Japan, I have consistently made my utmost efforts to strengthen further the friendly and cooperative relations between our two countries. Today, the relations are basically strong and sound. In addition to our bilateral cooperation in many areas, the two countries are working closely together to solve the political and economic problems facing the world. Mr. President, the United States is continuing a genuine effort to build upon the potential agreements reached in Reykjavik on arms control to lay a solid foundation for world peace. For the success of such efforts, it is now more important than ever to strengthen solidarity among the Western nations looking toward the upcoming summit meeting in Venice. I strongly hope that my visit will prove to be constructive from this global perspective as well. If our two countries are to fully discharge our global responsibilities, it is essential that our bilateral relations develop on an unshakable foundation I am deeply concerned that serious frictions on the trade and economic issues are on the rise between our two countries. We should not allow such a situation to undermine the friendship and mutual trust between our two countries. Throughout my visit, I intend to state clearly the policy measures Japan has taken so far and will take in the future for overcoming these problems. At the same time, I will listen carefully to the views of the administration, the Congress, and the people of the United States. I have journeyed across the Pacific Ocean knowing that at times one must sail on high waves, but I hope that my visit with everyone's assistance, will offer maximum beneficial result for our two countries. Mr. President, in your inaugural address in 1981, you said, we have every right to dream historic dreams. With energetic leadership, the American people have built this great nation, constantly moving forward and aspiring to seek out new frontiers. This pursuit of heroic dreams forms the driving spirit of your nation. We, the Japanese people, have built our present nation desiring to occupy an honored place in the international society. 
and determined to contribute to world peace and prosperity. I am determined to exert all my efforts to, so that our two peoples can dream heroic dreams together, looking towards a bright future for all mankind. Thank you. Thank you. 